live between crosses and crescent moons, prayer rugs, cell blocks in a ballot box, prisoners in precedence, resistance and resilience, hope in a hurricane, hope in a hangman, hope in a hangnoose. When our children are elders, their children will call this time we live in the era of wounded dreams, when systems openly assassinated imaginations. No one tells stories anymore. It's as if we believe gravity is real and unicorns are not. We've swallowed the sugar-coated cyanide that tells us the narratives of the invaders hold more truth than the memories of my grandparents, how damaged our belief systems are. We tell ourselves existence is resistance, not life is affirmation. To fight and write back, but not fight and dream forward. To deconstruct empire, but really blueprint ourselves as if we have forgotten that a nation is nothing more than a collection of narratives. A community does not make sense of the world through statistic, but stories and bigots are painfully unimaginative. This is why they want to censor our culture. They know they cannot compete with our creativity. So this is for you, who dance, write, speak, dream, love, exhale the world anew, who place starlight in the barrels of rifles and march against darkness, militant sunflowers holding your heart up like a hand grenade, hummingbird in a hurricane with hope strapped to its core like it was C4, we remember. The only reason we're alive is because we had at least one ancestor who refused to die and lived long enough to have children who did the same. This is our genetic inheritance. Remember this. So dance indigo, cultivate brilliance, speak life, name pain, grow dreams, and in times of terror, wage beauty.